Hey everyone, me Gore Views here. So today I wanted to share with you um, the American Girl doll I got for Christmas. Today I'm going to review Ninia Mitchell. So I really fell in love with Ninia's story. Um, well, what came with her in the box was a, a free catalog coupon and of course the American Girl magazine. But what also came was her book, Ninia growing up with Aloha and the description is Ninia Mitchell may be the youngest in her family but she still wants to dip her paddle in and be useful she knows she's gr she's grown up enough to help in her grandparents market but before she can prove that she's ready for more responsibility. The unthinkable happens. The Jap Japan attacks Pearl Harbor, the naval base where her father works, and America is at war. Nanania must cope with missing friends and family members, rumors of additional attacks, and drastic changes to her island way of life. So, yeah, like many of the American Girl stories, they deal with serious issues and Nania's is no different. Um, I really love the Be Forever line because I really love how each character is, well each, I should say each doll is from a different time period and has a story with her. So now if we look closely at Nania, um, she came with a flower in her hair. Um, I haven't taken the hairnet off yet because I tend not to like my dolls as much with the hairnet off. I'm fine with, I, I, take, I take the hair off of dolls of straight hair, but Nania's is, is straight, but it has more waves to it, so I'm a bit hesitant to take her hairnet off. If you look, she has a very pretty face mold. I don't think any of the other dolls have had her face mold before. Um, she has a very pretty um, 1940s outfit. She has a flower shirt on. Which looks cool because, you know, she's from Hawaii. And her white pants are, they look, it pretty much looks like 1940s fashion. And I believe, um, yeah, I believe uh, you can take, I thought at first the pants and shirt were attached, but you could take the pants off and shirt at different times if you want to dress her in her Hawaiian outfit or her purple dress. Um, her shoes are brown sandals and I thought she'd be hard to display on my bookshelf but she actually stands pretty good. Um, I can't wait to read Ninia's story. She's probably my favorite American Girl doll. Um, I hope you all, I hope you all can, if you all get a chance, I hope you can read her story and I hope you all can purchase Ania because she is a very pretty doll and has a very amazing story. So I hope you enjoyed my American Girl doll, Ania Mitchell review, and I hope to review more American Girl dolls in the future. Till next time, stay regal.